If you want to group records in a way that is not directly indicated by the data fields available in a report, you can create custom named groups, and select the records that the custom groups will contain. In this tutorial, you will group records based on custom named group definitions. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Crystal Reports 2011, version 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Group the records in this report into two groups, based on whether the last year's sales values are under or over $50,000. Click Insert Group. Choose the data field that will be used to determine the groups. Click the list of data fields. Select the last year's sales field. Click the order list. Choose to specify your own custom name groups. Select in specified order. Provide a name for the first custom name group. Type sales under $50,000, and then click new. Define the condition to determine which records will be included in this group. Click the operators list. Select is less than. Click in the value text box. Type 50,000 and then click OK. Now, create the second custom name group. Click New. Provide a name for the custom name group. Type sales over $50,000 and then click the operators list. Define the condition to determine which records will be included in this group. Select, is greater than or equal to. Click in the value text box. Type 50,000, and then click OK. Note that the order of the named groups shown here, is the order in which the groups will be displayed on the report. Commit the custom grouping. Click OK. Preview the report. Click View. Select, Print Preview. Note that the first group on the report is sales under $50,000. Scroll down to see the other group on the report. Click to scroll down. You have successfully grouped records, based on custom named group definitions. This is the end of the tutorial.